vagina odor is one of the most common thing we see these days yeast infection is the most simplest thing we see every day but you don't know that this infection can be caused by the most simplest thing you do even the things you think that you you put on your vagina to make it look neat maybe the the cause of your yeast infection i'm going to tell you how to take care of your vagina and how to prevent vagina odor and even if you already have yeast infection i'm going to tell you easiest and natural way to cure yeast infection so if that sounds like something you're interested in please stay tuned to the video don't go anywhere because there's a lot to learn Hi, my name is Miracle Rosi, or you can call me Rosemary Kemize. I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based here in Lagos, Nigeria. I do video on this very channel. I do video about female latest stuff, everything that concerns women, how to look good on a budget, how to take care of yourself, how to take care of your vagina, how to take care of your skin. There's a lot to learn on this channel, even makeup so please subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed so today you know the topic we are talking about we are talking about the most common thing in women these days vagina odor and yeast infection so how do you cure vagina odor before trying to cure vagina odor or trying to cure this yeast infection the first thing you need to do is to find out the root of those infection right because if you, if you know the if you know the root of your problem it is very very easy for you to so what is the cause of yeast infection or vagina odor the most common cause of yeast infection or vagina odor is lack of personal hygiene it is very very common a lot of people think that something things are having vagina odor or yeast infection or vagina infection has to do with everything sexual sexual transmitted disease no that one is also part of it but the most common part of it because these days even people who have not have sex used to have this other people who are still virgin see suffer from missing infection so where did they get it if they haven't have sex before so where they get it the most common part of common place you can get yeast infection or develop vagina odor is lack of personal hygiene if there's hair always hair on your vagina there's 99 percent chances of you con having yeast infection the hair on your vagina the hair on the surface of your vagina can trap urine that that will form bacteria in the next few minutes it can trap heat when your body have like unnecessary it can make your body like it moisturize like it can give your body unnecessary moisture that can that can change your ph balance that will lead to vagina odor another part another thing that causes vagina odor is in more is a, the other another thing we all know sexual infection sexual transmitted disease if you have sex with someone if you have unprotected sex with someone who have some kind of uh, sexual transmitted disease and they deposit sperm on your body that sperm will automatically give you vaginal infection another thing that causes vaginal infection is not washing yourself not cleaning your body after sex like a lot of women do this it causes vagina odor, it causes a yeast infection, it causes a lot of things. After sex, please get up and clean yourself. Clean yourself up after sex is very, very important. No matter how weak you are, make sure you clean yourself after sex. That spam, that little amount of spam, even if the guy wear condom, but your own discharge that is on your body can develop some bacteria. That can turn to yeast, that can turn to yeast infection, or give you vaginal odor. So please, after that practice, 
get up and wash yourself clean another thing that can cause vagina odor or yeast infection is menstruation not not cleaning yourself up very well after meal so after you bath after you you finish your menstruation i will tell you how you clean yourself you clean yourself very very well to make sure that all the blood in your body in your body drop out and clean another thing that can cause vagina odor is most common thing that most of us do thinking that we are taking care of ourselves putting some some substances in your body putting anything chemical in your body anything vagina is made to protect itself god created every part of our body to protect themselves like your eye protects itself so vagina does not have rose odor it does not have a, a good fragrance it has a sore it is a sore it is an open sore that la that don't get decay so the odor from your vagina is not going to be sent it is not going to it's not going to have sweet fragrance it's not going to have roses fragrance it's not going to scent like perfume what is going to scent is something that is supposed to scent like a sore kind of odor that is how your body is supposed to scent so don't go extra mile thinking that putting some kind of thing in your body to give it good odor that thing you put on your body can make you develop infection another thing that can cause your vagina odor vagina infection yeast infection is inserting dirty finger in your body inserting anything dirty in your body can bring can cause you vagina infection even a dirty dick can cause you vagina infection let that guy go and bath like let him clean up before he should like he could enter that place is your honey pot is everything you have is what make you a woman so you're supposed to protect it with everything there are some guys that take you out on a on a picnic this has happened to me too take you out on a picnic and by the time you get after eating you know those car sex like right i know that a lot of you do it a lot right those kind of things before you know before that guy will touch your body please if that person have eaten something like barbecue or eat anything that has spices let him wash his hand let him not put that hand in your body because if that spices enter your body it will turn to another thing it will change your ph balance which can lead to a yeast infection and vagina odor so now that we know all the causes of vagina odor there are a lot of causes of vagina odor but these are the most common ones now that we know all the causes of vagina odor how do we uh, take care of ourselves or how do we prevent ourselves from getting it the first thing you do as a woman is to shave like don't let any hair be on that place Make sure that place is always very clean so that air can penetrate is to make sure you allow air into that place. Me personally, I don't wear pants. I'm not a pant type. Like everybody will tell you wear a cutting line pant. Wear a cutting pant if you're the kind of person that wear pants. But me personally, I always wear pants if I'm wearing skirt or gown. But if I'm wearing trousers, I use pant liner. I line my trouser and or shorten anything I'm wearing I use like pant liner and I line that place to prevent the dust from the trouser from getting into my body that's how I do even if I'm going to work then if I'm wearing pants I make sure the pants I wear the pants you wear make sure the pants you wear is cotton again after washing your pants, please, if you want to heat it, heat it. If you want to iron it, iron it. At that point, you wash your pants and you bring them in. This part, this part that's supposed to be on your body, this part is supposed to be on your V, right? So make sure you iron it. I always iron it. If there's any bacteria on this, you know, make sure you iron it. That heat will kill any bacteria on it. And again, it is better to spread your pants on a place where there will be sunlight. Another tip is after you urinate. Do you know after you urinate? Please, 
wash yourself like some people say they wipe i don't wipe i don't i can't remember the last time i wipe what i do is i wash myself i wash myself with water then i use um i use cutting uh, i use paper paper towel to wipe to clean the surface to make sure it is dry but that is if i'm going out but if i'm inside i have some towels that i have that only thing i use is very very small towel. only thing i use i use it for is for my body after i i i, I urinate or i poo i wash my body after washing my body i use that towel to dab it clean so that it will be dry so another thing that Another thing that you do to prevent vaginal odor, you know that a lot of time we say uh, like we have vaginal odor, but most times it's not your vagina that is bringing out that odor. Unless you like you bring it, I know that it's coming from your vagina. Most of the time, this odor comes from your anus to your vagina. So like if you, some people if you if you pull, so if you pull, if you not wipe it well that thing there will, will decay within some hours and if it decay to start smelling very very bad have you asked yourself why some guys smell like have you ever met a guy and he wanted like to make out and he pull out his trouser you see that the guy is smelling bad like smelling like dead rat that is not the penis smell penis don't smell right what is smelling is the anus maybe he did not wipe his anus and the little pool that remaining there decayed and start smelling so and it's also the same thing in a woman sometimes the odor you perceive may not be coming from your vagina it may be coming from your anus and if you don't notice very if you don't notice it it may from the anus and germinate um, bacteria to your vagina so the best way to wipe, if you want to wipe, use baby wipe that has water. That water will clean everything off. Or you wash with water. Washing with water for me is the safest thing I can do. And the thing you do, please never, ever, never, if you're doing it, stop it today. If you have it, stop it. Never, ever put any, any, uh anything on your body like perfume or uh, there's nothing like vagina perfume there's nothing like vagina cream there's nothing like vagina soap please if you're using it stop it you may you're just changing your ph balance you're just changing your ph balance wash your body with just water wash it with water only water alone wash it if you want to wash your anus, wash your anus with water and sponge that is not that does not contain that does not contain uh, soap. Use it like if you want to bath. Make sure you spread your body very very well. Wash your anus first. After you wash your anus, then head head head, head to your vagina and wash it the last time because the water from your anus may get to your vagina. And it's made of bacteria so make sure you take care of yourself it's very very important you don't need anything that place doesn't smell like rose please another thing to do to prevent vagina odor is to learn to like if like if if you are okay right now learn to know the kind of odor your natural odor like everybody has their natural odor. the way you have your skin odor that's where you have your vagina odor. Shake to see your natural odor. Shake to see it. Always shake yourself to see when that odor change. When that odor change, so that you can easily go to go to a doctor to see the doctor if it start like changing too much. Shake to know your normal body odor, normal vagina odor. Shake it is very very important. Another way I shake myself. This was taught me by one of my big aunties. She told, she told me another way I shake myself is by my urine. 
you know, that money, that early money when I wake up, the first few rain, sometimes I do this thing once or twice a, a, a week. The first few rain I have, I'll bring it, you bring it, like just put it on your finger, test it. If it tastes bitter, that means you have infection. There's something wrong with your body. But if it tastes salty, that means your body is okay. So if you have any vaginal infection, your urine will always tell you that you have infection or any sexual infection in your body. Your urine will change. The final way to prevent vaginal odor and yeast infection is after menstruation. This is my go-to. Every day I do it after menstruation. You, 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 you like that fifth day. My 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 menstruation run from like five days. That five days it is dropping. So that fifth day on the fifth day morning, the last day morning, right to you, the last day morning. Boil hot water. Boil hot water. Put it you know on a bowl. This one, this will cure your infection if you have it. If you already have it, after watching this video, go and do it. Do it two, three times. You see your infection will go away. After boil hot water, put it in a bowl, sit on it, wrap yourself with it. Let the heat on that on that hot water get into your body. It will heat up any remaining blood that is remaining, like any blood that is hanging on the walls of your vagina. It will heat it up and it will drop out. That means your body will be very, very neat and free from any blood. Like, if you do it that fifth morning, you see that the remaining blood that's supposed to come out, if it's supposed to hang, the thing will come out. Then, if you have, if this when i've cleaned up when you have cleaned up you're not seeing any blood again see do the same thing boil water sit on it if you want to do it two times sit on it it will clean all the walls of your vagina and make every blood that is there drastically if you have vagina infection if you're sitting on that hot water make sure you put a pinch of salt in that hot water like normally if you can do it anybody can do it anybody can do it but if you have vagina infection yeast infection already put it do it right now just after this video do it do it for a while and you see the result i hope this video is helpful for anyone who is passing through yeast infection our body is good every woman body is good we're supposed to like treat it as good and doesn't so go don't smell right so guys i hope this video will be helpful for anyone and